Oop, that certainly takes a bit. Ahoy, everyone, welcome aboard. Uh, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... Let's make Drake here at your service. And yeah, that is taking a big ass. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, apparently this is taking up a lot more of my GPU than I was expecting it to, especially since what's well, freaking with <laughs> the digital disguise. Uh, that yeah, both shouldn't... the game and you are being choppy. Uh, let me see if I can fix that. Oh dear. Uh, details, and then we go... Let's see, find this game. Uh, there we go. Priority, high, yes. And then the same on this. Okay, there we go. Hopefully that should fix things, but we'll find that out in any second here. But oh, I click it and instantly I see things slow down. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That is weird as all hell because this is an old game. Though it could be that it's. Hmm. Anyways, uh, welcome to Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc, which hopefully will not keep this annoying slowness to it. Ho hopefully, this is just a menu thing. Maybe you could up the one's graphic options if possible. I uh, don't really know if you can change the graphics in this. Uh, I'm running this game at the moment with uh, an added program or fan patch, you could say. I, I forget the specific name of it, but I think it was just called Ray 3 Fix or something like that. Uh, hmm. Yeah, it, let's just let's just see. Yeah, I hope it, let's just hope that it doesn't stay past this here. Because this, if this is just going to keep this slow, then we're going to have to cancel today's extra stream. Um, yeah, the only reason we stream today is... Well... We both are sick. Yes, uh, more sickly. Uh, I, yeah, I got sick you know, yesterday, so I, I had to drop out <clears throat> from work and get... I got written off for two days. Uh, yeah. And nope. I got infected by my nephew. And, well... <laughs> I guess you could say that it's fitting then that the computer is also having uh, issues with the game. Seriously, why is it being this freaking slow? Is the game recommending us plum use? Apparently. Okay, come on. There we go. Hopefully it starts to speed up now. I suppose this patch was supposed to prevent issues like this, but... Hmm. Unless you did the patch wrong? Maybe, and it looks like the slowness is staying. Okay, that is... Why the hell is this thing taking up so much processing power? Like... We... <clears> hmm. <throat> I'm running Wait, a, a 2070 uh, Super uh, uh, here, and it's taking up 95% of that, or it's using up, uh, it's occupying 95%. Okay, that's weird. And we should just maybe give it an FPS cap, but... I don't... <laughs> I think we'd need an FPS boost for this more. Uh, yeah. I, I didn't have issues like this before. Could, give me a second. What happens if I... What if I shut this off? No, still slow. Okay, then what the it hell is... It only improved very slightly. Okay, then I'll turn this back on. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that... That is just plain ass weird. Like, this game is over... Over 15 years old or so. <laughs> Closer to 20. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, I'll I'll look up a quick. Yeah, you know, I'll see if I can find any quick fixes for this because it did. It wasn't having issues before. Huh. Let's see. PC gaming wiki Rayman three. Hoodlum Havoc. Let's see. Be I, better Rayman three is the stuff that I was using. Let's see. Did the run Rayman three? Just 
Uh, you have to run the game once. Yes, I did that before. Full motion video. Uh, I actually didn't do that. Apparently, the apparently in this version, the uh, cutscenes are heavily compressed. Hmm. Let's see. Does it say anything about slowdown, missing textures? No. Fix Intel. Running too fast. Wait. Could that be a that, could that be an issue again or something that it's being stupid by being forced to run too fast? Only in this case, it's <laughs> only in this case, it's being forced to slow down or something. Let's see. Limit frame rate to 60. Uh, let's see. Max. It's already limited. I, I forgot to remove the limiter we put up. Uh, I put up for MDK2. So why is it still doing issues that uh, having issues then? Um, <laughs> lock the frame rates. Yes. It's... Okay. Maybe, maybe if I turn that off. No. The hell is going on? Why is it? Hmm. I might have to just do a reinstall then and see if that maybe fixes something. Uh, yeah. It seems we can't have a stream these days, with, or at least a first stream these days, without something screwing up. Yeah, and I did uh. tell you in the past that we should probably be careful with older games. However, Rayman 2 worked just fine. Yeah, it's probably mostly because of the fan patches installed. I'll just do a, let's see, da -da -da, verify and repair. We'll see what happens after that. Yeah, we, we did see a panel as a Rayman 3 HD, but... Where the hell that might be, I don't know. Actually, I'll do a quick Google on that. I only, oh, it's only on the Xbox, apparently. Oh, for love of... And PlayStation 3. Uh, of course, leaving the PC out again. Okay, let's see. If it works now, that... It's been repaired and verified. Need to swap to... Oh, yeah, so I can actually see if it's doing anything. Wait. Wait. It was... Wor it's re... It's reacted to OBS? Now, I'm only... Mo I didn't close OBS. So it was starting up it with it. Maybe it's... Maybe it doesn't like being all tapped from or something. Let me close it down, and, and then I close it. To f it's refusing to close, so I'll just force close it then. End task. That, and that is why, I, in part, why I have the task manager up at all times. Or try to <clears throat> during streams. Okay, play game. Let's see. Yeah, I can hear it. It sounds just fine. The moment it gets captured by OBS, it starts to lose its shit. That's weird. Is it one of those games that actually became... Well, one of those games that refused to be uh, streamed or yeah, it recorded? Could just as well, it could just as well, again, be OBS just fucking things up with their hotfixes. Hmm. Okay, let's me try this then. I'll uninst... Maybe it is isn't. It, at the moment, it's only opening up in windowed mode here because of that better Rayman 3 patch I installed. So, what if we install, what if we reinstall it so that it doesn't have that? So it will automatically open up in uh, full screen mode because MDK2 had, well, we could only play MDK2 in uh, full screen mode. Hmm. Uh, once What's again, having to freaking. Troubleshoot a game right because, yeah, uh, because despite my testing, it still manages to fuck up in some way. Uh, I guess that just says that I need to do more freaking testing beforehand. And yeah. yeah, that's ten minutes wasted already. So ten minutes extra onto the stream if it manages to work. Also, why do I keep getting pings from Discord? It should be you know, in silent mode. It specifically has streamer mode enabled, and I still get freaking pings. That's the whole thing about stream mode, that you don't get disturbed. 
it's somewhere in here that it's... Hmm. Okay, whilst the game is reinstalling, already at 50%, I'll just stream remote here, enable, yes, and automatically, hide. Oh, this disable sound just turned off. Okay, now it's back on. Hmm. Well, yeah, this is this is just a probably a case of old and new uh, software interacting with each other. <clears throat> Though most yeah. of these problems have been popping up with the new version of OBS, so I I think I am going to just reinstall the old version as a separate instance, uh, move everything over, and see if that has the same issues or not. If it doesn't, then again OBS fact check your freaking shit before you publish it. Uh, okay, 80%. E hmm. It should have cleared out the entire folder where it was put. There we go, ready to play. So let's go. No, it's still opening in windowed mode. Okay. Uh, did... I think I added a sec another executable in here. Yeah, here configuration. That's what we need. That is going to that should open up the launcher. Yep, here we go. Configuration. Uh, let's see, ninety twenty by ten eighty. Or yeah, wait, that that resolution is wrong. Okay, ninety twenty ten eighty. Textures high, non compressed textures. Wait, why is it was? Why was it opening in windowed mode if windowed mode wasn't selected? Okay. Yeah, that sounds a bit weird. Maybe the maybe the configurations were screwing with each other or something. Maybe. Okay. Let's see how it does now. Normal speed, and then it gets captured and screws up. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Force close again. Let's see what happens if we just go it, yeah, move it to full screen then. Okay, still the same windowed mode off. Okay, and launch. And still in windowed. Okay, this, there's something, there's something wrong here. Let me go take a look in the files themselves, uh, games, because this it's is the GOG like, version. Yeah, so it's almost more like there's something with the game because it's wrong. Hmm. Okay, let me just remove the entire folder. Then we reinstall it again. Yes. Okay, install. This should keep the stupid. You know, this should keep better Rayman 3 out of the program. So if anything of that is causing the issue, it should be removed now. And yes, we're almost at 15 minutes. So again, 15 minutes. However long we're busy with this, unless we hit half an hour, is going to be extended <coughs> from the uh, stream. <coughs> All right. Yeah. Uh. I should be. Wait. Hmm? Are we about to have the same situation as we had with one certain Monkey Island game? That we can't play it, so. You mean? Uh, you, yeah, it, it was very choppy and laggy. Now, not to this extent. It, it, the problem that War had was that it had issue loading between issues, not general slowdown. And well, being if we, I don't think we'd be able to play a game at two FPS per second. Yeah, true. Hmm. I kind of do wonder if it's one of those older games that uh, did not age well. Well, you'd expect that Rayman Two would have aged worse then. Yeah, unless there was. I'm all smoother and simple optimization. And the new one were... Maybe not as fully optimized. 
Hmm, maybe. 75%. I get the feeling we're going to have to go back to screen capture, because that, uh, that works with uh, <clears throat> MDK2. I'll probably just have to narrow it down so that it only shows uh, the game. Okay, play. And is it going to be... Again, windowed mode. Why the hell again windowed mode, even though it should be turned off? Okay, then. Give me a moment. Wait. Sources. Uh, from where did you get this game? GOG. Maybe uh, there's something GOG have done. Let's see. If, I, if it's not being captured, it runs well. Okay. So now I turn on screen capture and give you guys a a view again of how this ends up looking. Actually, does it still slow down now? No, not at all. Okay, so screen capture is... Why is it that some of these games just have an issue with being captured directly? Yeah, some game does that. I recall YouTubers uh, do a review of game, some kind of mentioning it, sequels and older games and newer games have sometimes these kind of issues. Uh, let me see. There should be a way to zoom this in or something, or to oversize it and crop it. But again, I don't get why the game is opening up in windowed mode, even though windowed mode is off. And I'm pretty sure that shadow should be behind the text, not... It's... Okay, now it's just going at... Now it's going to... Wait... It's broken still, because just look at the right. Hmm. Okay, so heck? that's what the Rayman, better Rayman fix was for. Probably, I I remember something like that happening. But again, why is it opening up in windowed mode when windowed? Wait, is it in the bloody? No, it shouldn't be in the bloody shortcut. I'm opening it up directly from GOG. Let's see, properties. Mm. There's no executables added. None there. Configure. Nothing there. Configuration of the game itself. Yeah, here, Rayman 3 setup. Okay. Uh, let's see, let's go with that. 32 bits normal. 2070, save settings. Okay, play. Now it, it should go into full screen. It, again, why is it going into windowed? There is no command for it to go into windowed mode. And now it's not even showing the bloody... There you go. Hmm. But this is still messed up. Okay, what the utter hell is going on with this everything? Hmm. Okay. Wait. And in the uh, wait in this mode, uh, you can't you just press the full screen button? Give me a moment. Then there still be the effects that it's running way too fast and everything. Uh, mm. So yeah, it's, I think we will have to you we we're going to have to add, and it also is going to show the bloody or at the top. Yeah, I'm going. Okay. I'm going to have to install the better Rayman uh, patch then quickly. Uh, just freak off with your cookies and bullshit uh, on site. The white ball is a small sacrifice at this point. Yeah. Okay. Better Rayman 3, download, download there. Okay, download. Mm -hmm. Can't scan. Download anyway, then I'll just run, run my the Avast scanner over it. Okay, nothing. Install, yes. It automatically finds it, automatically installs it. There we go, finished. Okay. And what was the rest here again? Run BR3 
config and then run the game. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, 1080. Not in windowed mode. Uh, top quality with that. Okay, there. And now it should run correctly. Emphasis on should. Okay. Turning screen capture back on. Actually, I should have, I should have set it to a higher <laughs> resolution. There we go. 20 minutes later. And of course, in the meantime, my bloody controller shut off, so... 20 years anymore. later. Uh, oh. 2003. So this game is almost 20 years old. It'll be next year. Ugh. Holy... And, well then, finally, freaking 20 minutes later, uh, oh, hey everyone, and welcome to Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc, which is the sequel to Rayman 3. And, uh, yeah, the last of the 3D uh, Rayman platformers. So, let's actually get... Is this still going fast? Okay, that can be easily fixed by just going to... Uh, to NVIDIA controls panel. Over here. Then we go down to where is it? Vertical sync? No. Low late max frame rate. Here we go. Which sounds like a <laughs> sounds like a possible max pain ripoff, max frame rate or something. There we go. Limit that to sixty. Uh, apply the changes. Just double click to freaking make sure. Okay. Now it should finally, hopefully, work. It's still going fast. Uh, okay. Anyways, then let's let's hope it doesn't go the same for in-game. <sighs> okay, where's the timer? Oh, this is compressed all hell. I'll try to fix that before next stream.
Well, that's an opening, huh? <laughs> Alright, that doesn't you too fast. Or is it? Nope, this is actually normal speed, I believe. And, well, Murphy is voiced now. We need subtitles, don't we? Oh. Let me take a look here. I'm not sure if there are subtitles from that. Let's see. Audio. Yeah, there's no subtitles, apparently. But, yeah. At the moment, we can only steer left and right. And we need to grab the red... Well, not red lumps anymore. It's just health, bits of health. What the heck has happened to the lums? Go uh, hood look. Oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep. <I'm>... Oh. <laughs> okay, he was supposed to slide there. Not. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Uh. <laughs> How's it hanging, Wiener Dog? Come on, I'm kidding. Hey, I like that outfit on you. When does it come off? <laughs> Don't be so touchy. Here, check out what I found. The manual. It's all in here. If you read the story, you'll find your way out. Once upon a time, there were lumps. Harmony, love, peace. Boring! Suddenly, a black lump transforms the red lumps into hoodlums. The world is in great danger. Ooh, here we go, here we go. It says here that Glowbox took off with your hands. Knowing what a scaredy cat he is, he's probably hiding someplace. It's not gonna be easy to get your hands on him. <laughs> hands, no pun intended. Oh, uh, by the way, I forgot to mention that every action wins you points. Let me demonstrate. Keep an eye on the counter. Whenever you score points, the indicator appears and you switch to combo mode. This is where things get really cool. In combo mode, your actions are worth even more points. But you gotta act fast. If your scoring stops, combo mode stops. One last thing. Points can buy you access to hidden levels. So try to score big! This manual looks like a bust. But there's bound to be one or two useful things in it. It says here that you hit the jump button in order to jump. Wowie. What the I bloody heck is with this full level war breaking? <laughs> Don't tell me guys get paid to write this junk. <laughs> yeah, Murphy's going to be chatty along, chatting along for quite a bit. <laughs> hey, Liam. Hmm? Is he our new Stan? <laughs> no, he, he luckily won't be sticking around for the entire uh, game, but he will be sticking around for a bit. And yeah, like, like he had said, Combo modes, uh, your points become worth more because you're basically double scoring them. Uh, but yeah, it's only for extra stuff, so we're not going to be going for that. And yeah, since the controller disconnected, I'm having to control with the arrow keys and C is jump, space is attack. Uh, let's see, X is first person mode. Um, yeah. So for now, all we can really do is, well, <laughs> move around, kick stuff, and jump and hover. Oh uh, dear. Yeah, because Glowbox freaking took off with Rayman's hands. Uh. Oh dear. The manual claims that you can make a chopper out of your hair. Make a chopper of your hair. Huh. Sounds like someone's been eating paint chips again. <laughs> oh, and now the manual is adding in as well. Hey, Murphy, what's your language, will you? <laughs> Be kids listening. <laughs> uh, yeah, with this game, they've gone for quite a bit more of a punk style as well. Punk? Truly the greatest hero ever. 
Uh, okay, I don't have no idea what we need for this with moving the camera. But uh, yeah. Uh, one example of that is that uh, they uh, used... Uh, I'm not entirely sure if it counts. <laughs> He's not a dog, Murphy. And if he were to heal, he would just sit still even more. Yeah, during the for the promotion of this game, they oop, the hack happened there for a moment. Uh, they used a song, uh, I forget by who they were, Groove Armada, I think it says the. <clears throat> uh, yeah, be before whilst waiting for the pre-stream to end, the game actually went from the main menu or not the main menu from the title screen to the trailer. And I think at the end it says Groove Armada that the music was from and the, the track is Matter and I quite liked it and I think they're a or they are or were a punk band or at least punk related I'm no expert all right you're looking for action this ain't the place not the wacky spinsters around here this manual just blows my mind <laughs> It explains the switch's trigger mechanism. Duh! Police! Who's responsible for this garbage? If this is getting a bit too much, do you want to get thrown out or what? You won't be sticking around for too much longer. Also, hello. But this is an interesting take on manuals. I see people joke on their own manuals like this. Yeah. And there he is. Murphy. Also interesting that his limbs can actually function independently from him, huh? In the beginning of the game. Isn't that always been a thing? Uh, not really, I think. Or I think this is actually the... He could throw his hands and they would return to him. But... That they... Oh, react... Yeah, that they move around on their own app besides him. Uh, that was not... I'm not sure if that ever was the case before. At least not in the games. And yeah. Now we can just... Maybe... Oh, Maybe it's a new ability been evolving? And maybe. But yeah, we can once again just throw bolts of energy out. And yeah, everyone is voiced now instead of the chatter. Um, I'm sure a lot of people do, would pref have preferred that everyone was just uh, chattering nonsense, but I do not mind the more voice acting. Fine as well, that's always done well. Wow! Raymond, you turned on the light! Ready! <laughs> what I tell ya, here come the thugs again! <laughs> Andre, you were supposed to say that the bad guys can off Andre. Stick to the script. <laughs> that after Rayman 2, I'd be cast as a tormented artist who falls for a girl with great big and... eyes. And here I am, still playing a sidekick in a low-budget flick. Yeesh. Really? Low-budget? Come on. Big... Uh, yeah. Yeah, we all know what he wants to say. <laughs> yeah. I'm pretty sure he was supposed to sound off with See You in Rayman 4 as he took off, but apparently that got glitched out as well. Or no, he's still here. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, you, you remember those... Uh, you remember those uh, yellow lumps that we uh, were collecting all throughout uh, Rayman 2? Yes. Uh, those were uh, those were formed because uh, Razorbeard destroyed the heart of the world, and and it's that oh. is now what uh, Andre the Black Lum is going after. So uh, we kind of don't want him to get that. 
Oh dear. Because uh, who knows what he could do Good with shot, well Where would you be a thousand you? extra black lungs. I'm no psychic, but I, uh, get the they can I think you mean lumps. Yeah. You said lungs. <laughs> well, we don't know the anatomy of lungs, so for all we know, they have a ton of lungs. A ton of lungs? What? <laughs> oh wait, did I miss you there? Extraordinary. There's no other word. Extraordinary. Uh, shut up, Murphy. I have to say this. I, I think the voice actor of Murphy is trying to channel Eddie Murphy or no, Probably. not Eddie Murphy. No, he it made maybe a bit Eddie Murphy, but so I tried to channel Eddie Murphy and Robin Williams in a weird way. It doesn't really work. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we need. This is an extra thing they added in this game: the strafing. Uh, really, it's the right control. Okay. Well, yeah. Which is by strafe attacking, we can curve attacks around things. Uh, which we'll have to do to deal with enemies as well, of course. Okay. And yes, I know there's gems downstairs, but they're wrong. There's Andre. Oh, quick, shoot him. I can't cover you much longer. Okay. Uh, we can still charge our attacks. detergent that transforms your clothes into combat fatigues. Combat fatigues! That's exactly what we need! You're right! Mm. Rayman, no! It belongs to the hoodlums. It might be dangerous. To do, make the audio has always been off there. <laughs> Very stunning! Now you just gotta figure out how it works. Good luck. Uh, that's also something new with this game. The, the, the combat suits. Each of these has a different effect. This one, well, it'll screw down these things. The survival of all people depends on it! And oh dear. Each of the... Whenever you have one, there's the timer in the lower right corner above your health. And any any points that we score is also da doubled. Uh, also, just let me do this. There we go. We can. That's the, one of the things that we've been hearing squeaking all over the place now. You can, if you can get a good look at them, you get extra points. I would hear. And also, almost good to tell you this that the red lines are back. Yeah. Yeah, the, the port of this game isn't perfect, so to say. And uh, just for you to get rid of the lines, because there was constantly, those are just from things being selected. Come on. Uh, now the. Mm. Okay, it's not really liking being all tabbed, it seems. There we go. There you go. Thank you. I, I really. Pr I was wondering if I should not say it or not, because I was worried it would break the game. <laughs> and yeah, this is one of the reasons why we will need to be strafe attacking and dealing with enemies that are hiding behind shields and such. And if we get hit like there, we are also... We will not only lose health, we also lose points. There we go. Lose points? Uh, only one point per hit, but still. <laughs> and I don't know, remember if this... There, there probably is an official name for this suit in the manual or so. Probably the tornado suit or something. But in-game it's not really named, I believe. Okay, a bit weird.
Uh, yeah, there, there is a lot of side stuff that we could go be going for, like we could dump down there, but it's it's mostly for points. Also, I think with these things, you can get a bunch of points if you manage to sneak up on them. But since we're using arrow keys and not a controller, so we can't actually move slowly, I don't think we can actually get close. Okay, we can get close enough. Underestimate yourself? <laughs> More just not expecting it to actually work. Because... With controllers, you generally have more fine control over gameplay. And yeah, pretty simple platforming. If we fall down, we slide all the way back down. Okay. Zelda needs you, really. <laughs> uh, yeah, th there's still a lot of whimsical stuff in uh, this game, and as you can see, charged attacks with this can bounce between targets. But yeah, there's just <laughs> way more. You're kind of being invaded, fairy. <clears throat> yeah, th there, there's a lot more cheek to everything now. Uh, this time, Murphy, you've gone too far. You can kiss your career goodbye. <laughs> oh, that's... I missed that there was gravel. Yeah, that the ceiling uh, there was gravel. What, what did Murphy say there? I have no idea, really. <laughs> yeah, like I said, this isn't the perfect port. Hmm. Maybe, maybe, maybe that's I... the issue we're having. This is a ported game, unlike the others. I'll tell you what, so between now and the next stream, because I think the, I only should be able to stream next time on Friday, I'll go take a look on the PlayStation 4 that I have to see if Rayman 3 HD is still available on the PlayStation Network. And I'll well, buy it and give it a shot to see if how that works. And there he is. I can't tell if the if they're actively over <laughs> acting. Yeah, so far. But, it, it, it is funny a lot of it. I hope we felt uh, more impressed by the older games uh, writing. Yeah, that's a cave in. <laughs> I forgot that that one just gets plain crushed. And kind of semi glitched over here. Oh well. Uh, let's see. We have the suits over here. Uh, each of them are color coded, so it's easy to tell what you're actually grabbing. Uh, let's see. Okay, we're not so. Hmm. I, I, there is less that I remember of this game, so I guess you could say that says a bit more about you know, a bit about the quality of this game compared to Rayman 2, but it is it's still a good game in general. Was the voice actor thing is a bit all over the place? Uh-oh. That... that can't be good. Nope, not at all. 
And yeah, we can expect to get a lot of low scores in these because, yeah, we don't we don't care. Where's Andre? Let's go ask the monks. Monks. That's where all the world's energy comes from. Andre has And uh. I guess they solved their problem of the, knowing who the freaking king is by declaring everyone king. The king council is literal here, and why is, is there a disco here? Globox to drink plum juice. And we all know Globox is allergic to plum juice. See you in Rayman 4. And there he goes. And um, well, there ne never was a Rayman 4. Uh, but yeah, on one thing I can definitely say uh, the intro to the first part of Rayman 2 is a hell of a lot stronger than it is here. Yeah, like, I think they went a little bit too heavy on the comedy. Yeah, there's all... In the shakiness. There's also little or actually nothing to actually explain as to what the hell is going on. Like, okay, it, it is known that most of the people who will buy a sequel are people who have actually played the games before. But still, some explanation as to the teenies and such would still be nice for newcomers because... Yeah, easy way to lose uh, <clears throat> to lose customers is to well expect them to do you know, homework. Yeah, <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, and now we get to the first of many of these. What? What? <laughs> what my boulders balls is this? This is how we get between different worlds now. So, uh, yeah, the, the the Hall of Doors has gotten a bit of a uh, renovation. That is fucking same mistake. Yeah, there isn't really much I can add to this other than just the sheer lunacy of it. Okay. You will auto you will auto jump when you hit the end of one of these lines, but you can also just jump on your own with the well, the jump button of course. So for now, let's just enjoy the music whilst I try not to fail too hard. Bloody heck, like, right. the, the second Rayman game we played, well, the first one, in a way, was surprisingly dark, but not too dark. I thought that interesting, but here... Yeah, it, it drops the darkness hard. I, I guess some people complained about it and they just overcorrected the other way. Though it, it, it doesn't have its... It still has its dark moments. It's just mostly, well, all of this insanity. <laughs> yeah. And I, I just thought the slight greenness in the other game was just good enough that most kids will enjoy.
Really? It's actually kind of funny this way. The first game was very whimsical and light and such. The second one goes pretty dark and then this one bounces right back. What the? Who? Who turned off the nice music? Nobody break anything. Music, where are you? Shut it! And get me out of here! I'm thirsty! Raymond, I need medical attention. Quick! Uh, yeah, the main goal of the game is going to be to get Andre the hell out of Globox's gut. So... Oh dear. Okay. Uh, and, yeah, they will actively block attacks when they can as well. Though these guys still aren't too smart. Luckily enough, though this game could be called an one giant escort mission, Globox knows how when to get the hell out of the way. <laughs> and yeah, you can pester the wildlife. <laughs> Did you just hint the granny? Yeah, I, I think it's some sort of turtle. <laughs> you know, turtles can get very old, right? Yep. Okay. Basic platforming. And yeah, <laughs> Andre is going to be a third wheel. And, yep, once again, we have to bust a bunch of te teenies out of these things. Thanks, big nose. Look what I swiped from the hoodlums. I need to go fire up the barbecue. Uh, what now? But he swapped... Uh, he stole from the hoodlums. Uh, what is... Uh... Oh. What is it? Body kiln? Barbecue. A barbecue. But yeah, most of them will have something stupid to say like that. Okay. I heard some more hoodlums. Uh, these doors here, we can't actually break down. They're like the reinforced bandages from the second, uh, from the previous game. And. Yeah, these hoodlums have been hella busy in the short while that we've been gone. Oh dear. And here's another one. Uh, yeah, you've probably noticed by now that... Uh, we'll, we'll get more of it here, but this guy has a cash symbol over his head. That signifies that he has a can for us to get. So this time is red. Uh oh. Globox <laughs> is going to intrude on the cutscene. Rayman, these disguises are getting a bit ridiculous. I mean, they're not even good. I recognize you right away. Uh, glow box. I don't think they're supposed to be disguised. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this one is called the Heavy Metal Fist. And, well, as is obvious, it deals more damage. But it typically lasts uh, a lot uh, shorter, though. So, let's just bust down the door. And let me actually take a quick look here. More teensies. I if I were. I gotta go. Nature calls. <laughs> well, I believe for every six teensy cages that you break, that you get more health. So there is still a good reason for us to go look for them. Just all of the gems we can skip. For the most part, even though I'm grabbing as many as I can still. Yeah, do. They're like they're not gonna do. Hey man, do something. 
Right, I was say, sorry to say, we're likely not gonna do uh, too much of their secret levels, if there's any. Uh, yeah, I, I think... I think most of the bonuses are actually just content, like uh, videos and such, which is always nice. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely going to need to... F is there any other button I can press for this? These just check stats. Hmm. No, it seems that right control is the only way to go into strafe mode, which makes things a bit annoying. Since, well, that takes away a, a finger for me to actually control the game with. No. Oh. It, it lowers my control of Rayman himself. That is what I meant. And, yeah, we can... Uh, uh, yeah, I, I'm... <laughs> it's forcing me to put fingers that I'm less... Uh, maybe if I put my thumb on the control? Rayman, your eye was showing through your hair there for a second, I think. <laughs> Uh, it, it makes controlling Rayman awkward at the moment. And I don't want to restart the game again just to get the controller connected. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's just clean up a bit. Okay. And continue on. Because, well, there's some plum juice here and, well... Yeah, Glowbox is allergic to it. But Andre loves plum juice, so you can sense a bit of a conflict of interest there between the two. And hello, these are back. Neo, that's what those are. They are back. Yeah, well, luckily Glowbox doesn't get any health issues from the plum juice, but he just, he goes freaking loopy over from it. You could take those. Uh, <laughs> you could take those frames of a glow box's stomach uh, pushing out as something very different out of context. I think. Don't make it worse, Elian. Don't make it worse. <laughs> uh, but I live to torment you. <laughs> so that's why we both are sick at the same time. Maybe. Okay. I forget what those... I don't even know what they call those things in the walls are. I, I don't think we see them too often. But yeah, I think if you get too close to those, they will try to bite you. Let's see, there's more around since there's still combat music. Oh, there he is. As Rayman got stuck on a rock for a bit. There we go. Uh, where are you? I can hear you shooting. But yeah, like I this game isn't as good as Rayman 2, or at least not as. Hmm. It is, again, it is still a good game, but for what it did at the time. Uh, it isn't as... No, it wasn't really game-changing, but... Uh, it's it's hard to say. It, it is not a bad game at, in any degree. But it is... Uh, not as memorable. It still has very good memorable bits, but not as... not In general, it is less memorable. Has a bit of a quality shift. 
It's with Rayman 2, most of the levels were very memorable, or at least very recognizable for my memory. There, was, there will still be plenty of parts that I remember of this game, but there will probably be less. And here we go again. The uh, glow box. And hello there in chat. Uh, 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 even can't do this. <laughs> glow box. Uh, uh, yeah, hello there, sir. Uh, if I recall it, sir, so uh, the, the pronunciation was, uh, aka the, <laughs> the artist formerly known as Atreus. Atreus, which probably be my go-to names, as that's say, uh, but I can remember from my head, and I can't read your name due to how small the colored text is. Yeah, for, even for me, it's a bit too small for the. But yeah. All the same. Uh, welcome, and how are you doing? Let's see. I think we're going to find the third power-up type here. Okay, center. Uh, yeah, one thing that is... One thing that's also different from this game to the previous is that there are no more purple lumps anymore as well. The reason why I'm saying oh. that is because... We'll be getting its replacements in a bit here. I gotta go finish my yogurt. <laughs> yogurt. Let's see, I'm doing well, thanks. How is this game? Never played this one. Uh, we had a bit of a discussion earlier about th this game is still good, but it's not as memorable as Rayman 2. I still enjoy it quite a lot, but I just have to deal with some port issues. Yeah, and they go a bit too heavy on the comedy here. <laughs> uh, what the? Like, I don't mind comedy and all that, but then it needs it needs to be good, and uh, I love the comedy here a bit. Hit and miss. <laughs> yeah. A lot of hit and miss. Like, yeah, I, I'm this... kind of glad I have voice actors now, but... Again... Hit and miss in the lines, then... That, 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 they'll do a good voice acting. Yes. Maybe not giving the best uh, script. Not true. Uh, on GOG, the game had a score of... Uh, 70 or 69 or so. Again... A 7 and such doesn't mean that the game is bad. It just doesn't mean that it won't completely wow you like other games might have before. And, well, numeric scores are subjective. For one uh, for one person, uh, a game that would be a, a 10 could be a 7 for someone else, or a, even a 3. Yeah, uh, there is no such thing as a perfect game. Yeah. But in general, this was... is still a very enjoyable game. Yeah. And if there was a perfect game, um, yeah, then everyone would be playing it. Damn. Okay, fail again. <laughs> and there uh, are people who yeah. say Fortnite is not a perfect game. For not everyone plays Fortnite, like me. I don't play it. No, if yeah. I ever be. I gave it a shot at one point uh, last year or so or something, uh, and even then I did I avoided the battle royale stuff. It was more a team-based thing of just 50 people versus 50, which was pretty enjoyable on its own. Uh, yeah. But I I didn't stick with it much. Yeah, like I, I saw Fortnite's first trailers when it was planned to be a very different game, 
really worth to build bases to defend against monsters, which I liked. But that's one of the just took that further away and then it made a battle royale as we see today. Yeah, that, that version is actually still available, I think, in Hello Glow Box. Yeah, I think they returned that somewhat only recently. But they did apparently not like they, they heard that the story mode it was what I was interested in, but not properly finished or given it. It was basically rushed. Just because it went so heavy on Battle Royale focus. Yeah, it is where they get all their money from now. So that yeah. does make sense. Yeah, and I'm one of the people that got uh, very pissed off when we went so focused on Battle Royale that they actually abandoned what could have been a very interesting new genre of uh, zombie and monster killing. There so it's, for me, they, for me, they uh, made something bad, and now Fortnite is a joke. Yeah. <laughs> Many people have been realizing that they are milking Fortnite now. Yeah, just how happy he gets when he finishes a place and hello. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it's like the, the only thing the thing really helping Epic stay up as a company is Fortnite. Well, that and the sales for their licensing, the licensing from their engines and such. And... Yeah, true. What flowers? And these return again, though this time as an actual 3D object. <laughs> and their own little theme tune. <laughs> but yeah, say what you will about this game, the music is still really good. And now we just need to get on this thing. And there we go. We use okay, the platforming still. Yeah, that is a nice music, but something fit odd with it. it maybe, it's, maybe it's my code messing with my brain, but that tune almost felt weirdly... Derpy? Erotic? <laughs> That's a... That was not a word I was thinking of. Uh, wait, what, what did you say? Derpy. I, I did not get the derby. Again, I think it's just my me having a cold is messing with my brain a little bit. Uh, let's go with that, yeah. And uh, here we have our force power up. Enough with the costumes already. We gotta get to the doctors. <laughs> just that eyebrow wiggle. Uh, oh dear. Uh, yeah. for Atreus there. They want to be the next big tech giant. Uh, yeah, they want it so badly as it actually becomes uh, painful. Yeah, they're... They're tryharding it too much. And, well, we saw yeah. with the Epic Store how much well, they try and fail. Like, seriously, I, they are still missing wish lists to last, to last I know. Yeah. Well, they want to be the big next big tech giant, but they are doing so many cut fruit things in cheap corners or cut corners yeah. and all that. Like, yeah, if you we, want we've to talked the... a few times about that already. Like them stealing, yeah. uh, stealing games away to make them exclusives. Yes, good that it gives uh, the developers money so they can actually make the games, but. But that also has its drawbacks, as we've seen with at least some... That uh, the developers just take the money and run. Yeah, or in some cases... With, uh, okay, this is a fear that could thing happen, that they send money, they take it, only realize too late that no, really anyone will uh, buy it from the store they've been exclusive to. Which yeah. means they lose out on money. Like, that, and then that still depends me, on good... Go ahead. Uh, 
They were saying, when, you, if, when you're in that situation, you realize too late that you've been... Basically tricked. Basically, it's a good way to lose your motivation to do a good game. Yeah, and... When you basically by accident screw yourself over. And um, yeah, just... Developers with bad intentions are just going to take the money and run, and here we have yet another enemy type. Yeah. Developers with bad intentions will be taking money and run, but others... Take the money and realize too late that they gain main, much money in the short run, but they hurt themselves in the long run. Yeah. And has probably Epic has been forced to do the rule. One year exclusive only. So I think many developers uh, uh, they want to make the game realize the issue in only limiting to one platform. Shout out Glowbox. Modern tech. What? Well, I guess this is modern for him. Yeah, or for the <laughs> for the inhabitants of the. I don't even know what you would call this world. We know Polo, uh, in uh, at least by Rayman 2 chrono lore and chronology that the world is basically uh, Polocus's dream come to life. So I guess you could call it the Dream Realm, or the, no, the, the Fairy Garden. I think it's mostly named, but whatever. Yep. Yeah. Maybe they mention it sometime in the future. Yeah, it, it's in the manual. I'm pretty sure. Wonder is a bloody alcoholic with this stuff. Hmm. Yeah, I'm actually not sure if you could, we could say that this just happened. Yeah, just Glowbox and enemy being weird, and speaking of being weird, water facing water effects being weird there. Oh yeah, there, there's just a yeah, hell of, the heck? There, there is a hell of a lot in this you know, in this game that is, uh, yeah. There's a lot of Rayman 2 stuff that didn't got brought over. Like I believe there is no mention at all of Glowbox's family, and you know, Alita Perry is missing as well. And. Yeah, very obviously. I don't think Glowbox he's allergic. Yeah, I don't think yeah. he's allergic to blow use, just. More easily drunk from it. That as well. But yeah, it, in. Everyone is voiced in English in this game. Okay. Yeah, the, the voice acting is, but the voice acting itself is good, just... Not the best writing. Maybe not the... Yeah. A lot of hit and miss going on. This probably makes it memorable for the wrong reason. But again, overall not too bad of a game. Now there should be a canister of heavy metal fist somewhere around here. Also, I, I just really like the idea of combat fatigues <laughs> in cans, as you can just pop open and get. And and uh, the, the outfits are nice enough on uh, on Rayman for each of them. I believe there is only one more new one to find, though. So I guess you could say it does blow its load a bit too early with showing off all of the new power-ups. Yeah. Kind of does. And, uh, uh, what is A2 spreading here? I can't read it. Uh, let's see. Are you uh, is going to play the newer 2D ones after this? Yep, we are. Yeah, apparently, they have a lot of. How do you say? Fans? Yep. And fan service. <laughs> but yeah, we will be playing Origins and Legends. Uh, I actually have, like. <laughs> Legends on three different platforms, I believe. That says enough about how much I like that game. 
Oh dear. Uh, uh, we will be staggering things a bit though. So once we are done with this game, we are picking up a different game. Then we are start. Uh, then we're going to do Origins. Then a different game again, and then we finish off with Legends. All right. And there's a teeny balloon in over here. There's another one back up there, but I don't see where we can get a can to actually break them out. Also, one of the lines that the teensies say while strapped sounds a lot like a Dutch word, uh, hulp, which is basically just help in Dutch. Wait, can you, can you repeat that Dutch word? Hulp. Or at least it Hulp. sounds like that to me. Hulp. Yeah. yeah. H U L P. Yeah, the, the way you see it, 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 like, if I didn't, if you haven't told me you said it in Dutch, I, I would probably ask if you had hiccup. <laughs> uh, let's see, there's supposed to be a can around here somewhere because there's this door as well. There's one of those sleeping things again. Where is the bloody can? Hmm. Yeah, it, it could just be me mishearing things a bit. But oh well. Now, where is it? There has to be a red can somewhere around here. Otherwise, we can't progress. Or am I just completely overlooking it? Hmm. We can't bust that open. Uh, yeah, there's another door with the teensy balloon cage behind it. Yeah, there it was. That just really sounds like hope to me. Hmm. Okay. Are we Ooh. missing something? Oh, we are missing that. Okay. And here's where we get the can. I just, there, there's just something about this specific animation with it that I do really like. It's not too much fanfare, not too little either. And well, I'd say probably this one looks the best of all the costumes. There we go, six freeze. And that was our health being extended. Nice! Yeah, still a good reason to go look for them, but we're not going to be scrounging through every little thing. You know what? I finally realized what, uh, what I'm reacting to when it comes to hoop. It's not like you say try to say help while you go golping. <laughs> okay. Uh. So now I know it's a Dutch word, so if I heard the Dutch word without knowing what's Dutch, I would probably have thought it was some kind of joke first. Then, mm. well, really? there's, the, there's the doctor's office, and Robux just takes off. <laughs> The game feels weirdly fast-paced. Uh, there, there will still be quite a bit more to go after this, though. And here we have a boss. What? What? My Odin Spear is... If I remember correctly, this thing is called Mega Legs. 
And what we have to do is activate three panels, and then we get a rocket fist. That uh, the depth thing gets to, to it first, he squashes it. So yeah, we just have to activate three, lure him away, and avoid getting stomped. Okay. And then we just use the rocket to hit the little guy. If, uh, if the stupid power-up doesn't run out right as it's going to hit. Uh, I agree with you, Atreus, on this one. I agree with you on this one. Low-tech mecha. And I, I, I do like the Hoodlums' general design and such. Like, this patched together uh, stuff of everything. Like, there we go. It comes a bit cross. Uh, what was the game? A bit steampunky. That they feel a bit steampunky. Like steampunk scarecrows. Yeah. And if we wait too long, the panels will reset. But this is easy enough once you get the hang of it. Yep. Oh yeah, I agree with that. This is a good auto sign. Okay. And yeah, that's what we played to Atreus again. Yeah, I saw. I'm keeping an eye on that chat. Okay, grab it. Once we get, get it, he starts. He does start to just go around like this, though. Easy enough to beat. And now that the thing is gone... Uh-oh. Now the real fun begins. Actually, I guess you could call it cloth or leather punk. Uh, what? What do the hoodlums have? Their style. Right there. Uh, yeah, can, can I repeat that part? Leather punk or cloth what do you call punk? It? Uh, uh, le oh, yeah. Leather punk. <laughs> um. Let's not use that phrase again, for I think... But yeah, if we jump, we just... Yeah, patchwork punk, yeah. <laughs> yeah and... Patchwork punk would probably work better, and also... Who... Who is the other narrator trying to steal my spotlight? <laughs> It's not Murphy, at least. It is the only party ever shows up. See, you're gonna shoot. Okay, I I can. S One of the ranks I feel like might be a bit of a bad choice to have in our game. Uh, it's stupid, but it's stupid fun. Yeah, just in a g this. Uh, I don't feel, I'm sure I can say that word on stream. Uh, With the, uh, the high rank you got scored from. Yeah. The, like, the, the, wait, what? Andre just being Andre. I didn't actually notice what uh, that word was. I was mostly focused on trying to stomp the hoodlums. Um, something you see a criminal with a gun may do. Yeah. We'll see if it pops up again. I can tell you off the stream. Yeah, or it'll show up again. If we get a good ball rolling, excellent. Oh, sorry, yeah, if, if you get out of range, it just goes blue. The, the targeting goes blue like that. And there we go.
And uh, I'll just shut up and let you enjoy this. Well, well, well. Let's see what we have here. If you don't mind. I see you swallowed a black lump. We will need to resort to drastic measures. Oh, he's stubborn. I'm afraid that your problem is worse than I thought. You see, the black clumps has taken a refuge in a fistula by going through a kidney near a spare rib. You will need to consult a stomach specialist. I know a very good doctor who lives in the land of the living dead. I leave you now. I must go clean my instruments. I can hear, I can hear Drakir's uh, internal circuits just fizzling. What by a frost time this blue balls was that? Yeah, that was the first doctor that we have to go see. The first. Yep, I won't spoil how many. There are other ones there are. But, uh, yeah, we're, we'll need to find number two now. In the land of the livid dead. Uh, wait, wait, I was said living dead, not living. Oh. Yeah, I, I think that might have been a small uh, error. Uh, I, I, I am concerned. I'm about to witness you. Uh, anyways, uh, let's continue on through the... Oh, down LSD lane. Okay, I remember, some of these will fall away. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, now we're surfing to a Guitar Hero level. <laughs> okay, let's avoid that one. Wait. Okay. Yeah, you, you can go down different paths in this game, but you are supposed to be able to make it down every one since, well, this is just mostly just a transition there. Okay, the hell is... Okay, something's a bit off here. What order was picking you up? It's a teeny in a helicopter. Or a teensy. Oh, okay. Okay, how? There isn't a, There isn't an issue with momentum or anything. We are always going at a steady speed in this. So how are we not being able to make this jump? Hmm. This is a glitch. Hmm. Shut up, Glowbox. I'm falling just short of these. The... I hope this. There we go. Yeah, I. Hmm. Yeah, I recall some of the platforming in this can be rather iffy. So that would, that would also have attributed it to people liking this game less. Nope, not freaking another fall away. Uh, 
Now okay. Let's see if we can find a safer way. Okay. I don't see what is supposed to signify the ones that will fall away or not. Yeah, the music is nice. There's about three different tracks for this, I believe. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I, I guess I'm just going to have to resort back to manual jumping. There we almost go. Hmm. But yeah, these levels would need a bit of tinkering if they were to ever remake this game. Well, they've already remade it at least once with the uh, HD version. Uh, I guess you couldn't... HD versions don't really count as remakes. But yeah, if this game were to be remade, they'd have to tinker the platforming in these levels a bit to be more... Yep, to be less annoying. Oh, come on. That wasn't a checkpoint. Yeah, most of what I remembered from these levels was the music, so... Uh, there we go, just... Tap and land. Yeah, the music is nice, so I can see what you remember at. But also kind of sneaky if the, it does, the music end up making you forget how lousy this is. It isn't entirely terrible, it's just that at some points it seems that they missed some things or something. And it's mostly the small ones that fall away, so let's try and avoid those as best we can. Okay, at least we've got a checkpoint. And yeah, there should be a bigger signifier as to which platforms are actually going to fall away and which not. Like, have them be dull or so. Hmm. Also, there's no, there's never an explanation given for this place. In the last game, we, we, no, we were outright told about it. The, the Hall of Doors. What all of this is, was never explained. Yeah. Nope. Mm -hmm. At least the old game also had a surprise amount of a lot of lore. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, I haven't been able to get all of the... Oh, here we go. Those, that's, those big ones always signify a big checkpoint. I haven't been able to get all of the extra uh, lore bits from the from Rayman 2. And that's the end of the level, even though there were still some left. Odd. his taxes really and uh, yeah here we have what i if i remember correctly this is the last of the upgrades here for a moment i thought he was gonna about to wear a mickey mouse helmet <laughs> and that is the joke <laughs> But yeah, it's an upgraded hel helicopter. And it lasts the, the shortest of all of the upgrades. Wait a minute, what the heck? Those are not lily pads. Nope, these are mushrooms. And yeah, <laughs> these waters are filled with piranhas. 
Luckily, not instant death piranhas, but still piranhas. Piranhas and aquatic mushrooms. Okay. Don't you know where aquatic mushrooms is a thing? I think as long as the conditions are right, mushrooms will pretty, uh, pretty much grow anywhere. Wait, even on a person? Uh, possibly. And just some points for that, okay. Nothing too much, but still contribution towards a health extension. Uh, let's see... Norm, if we had a, if it hadn't been for the technical issues, we would have about 20 minutes left. But I did extend the timer. Uh, there it is. So we should be have. Uh, actually, wait. Uh, to half an hour, two hours. We started at 35, I believe. Um, yeah, 35. Then we have technical issues for like. 15, 20 minutes. And then this timer is short, I believe. Uh, let me see. 11. Uh, there, that should be better. Okay. And yeah, next boss fight. And yeah, <laughs> it's a swamp hag. And if she hits us with the goo, we get turned into a frog. But if we turn it on her... You also turned into a frog or... I don't see. Yes, she got, she got turned into a frog herself. Which is the window we have for attacking her. But in time she will just turn back, so we just have to hit the... Oh, I, I forgot she actually does this. Oh, that... Okay, yeah, if we get hit, we just have to run away from her. So as long as we don't stand, if, as long as we keep me keep keep moving, she shouldn't be able to get a hit on. Damn it! She wants to uh, wants to eat your legs at the moment. Yep. There we go. Real woman. Oh dear. As long as we jump up and, yeah, catch her before she does the attack, you should be okay. This shouldn't take too long. And, yeah, while she's doing this, she's actually immune to being transformed. The sound effect of her running. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh yes. dear. She, she literally can't hit us as long as we just keep moving. There we go. And we should be able to finish this in another round or two. Let's actually get hit. Yep. She just kicks us. <laughs> I was expecting her to just... Focus with the freaking fork. Okay, one more good hit should do it. There we go. Uh. Oh dear.
He looks a bit like Polo Chris like that. Kinda. <laughs> Okay, let's just grab some of these, just because we can. is going on magic mirror yeah that too and the thing she said like yeah this game can be a bit risque <laughs> a bit too risque in the wrong direction and now we have one of those lobbers on stilts And again, more freaking piranhas. Okay, luckily we'll uh, we won't see much more of the hack. Yeah, he's actually immune to. We can't actually hit him whilst he's on these stupid stilts. Uh, that's where this is for. Okay, <laughs> we didn't actually get to see it, but... Yeah, we blew the stilts from underneath him. <laughs> he got eaten by the piranhas. Okay, there's a balloon over this way. Oh, hello. And goodbye. Okay, so, okay, we're probably supposed to come this way then. Okay, we can reset the camera by going first person mode. Still have no idea how else we can control the, the camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello there, big boy. I beg your pardon? Uh, this guy here. Oh. Yeah, they, they actually strapped one of them full, in full armor. There. Yeah, the way we defeat those, the fully armored ones, is to just knock them back until they fall off a ledge. And I just hear the sound of a teeny in a box. <laughs> Hello. Well, uh... Okay. No. Well, that was easy. And they cut off the good music for that. Yeah. There's more there. of them. It, I, I'm not the only one hearing it as hope, right? They're not saying help or anything like that. Let's see, I gotta try to listen. Yep, I was going to wait, but okay. Hey, uh, what now? Modern jazz class. What the heck? Moving on. Yep. I have no idea what those things are. They look a bit like something from Beyond Good and Evil 2. Not Beyond, Beyond Good and Evil. Okay, it's from Atreus. The teenies. It sounds like they say... Okay. <laughs> I guess it must say a hoop. And then try to, you know, swing out. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah, we'll, we'll double check at the next uh, cage to see what they might actually be saying. 
Yeah, I'd be surprised if there's supposed to be Dutchman. Or inspired by the uh, Dutch uh, daughter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Maybe. Maybe it's a French word or something, because Ubisoft is a French company. So maybe they. Yeah, put in French words and forgot to dub them over or something. Just out of range. There we go. Um, yeah, that's what happens. Okay. Okay. Oh, I forgot that. If they survive a hit from the tornado fist, they get struck down for some bloody reason. Uh. Okay. Deal with the last one. There we go. So, like, you're writing a bit early, Rayman. Okay. And, yeah, that's another level done <laughs> with the lowest score yet. You're flying through the levels at the moment. Yeah. Hmm. No, I guess you could call it more level sections or something with e with those at least. Okay. No, he's retreating. Still, this, this game will take a, a few streams to finish up. Um, I'm thinking it'll take more than Rayman 2, uh, but I'm not entirely sure. It's a, there's a good chance we could have another three-stream game. Third here. Hmm? Well, it, it's, it, that's probably better than uh, having only expected 10 or 20 episodes of this. Yeah. And again, the armored ones. Come on. Okay, you just get up close then. Get, get, get out. Wait, was he getting hit by his own guy? I think so. We are literally one hit away. Let's retreat for a bit. Are there still some health things around here? No. Okay, we're going to be careful then. I don't actually remember what happens if you actually die. I think you get mostly just get put back. Oh, we're going to find out. Okay, we just get dropped back to the last save point, or the start of a section. Oh well. Hey. Okay, just gotta remember that we have these health orbs here. There's an excellent... There's also something of an annoyance that they don't actually explain what the health drops are and such. So... Hmm. Yeah, they, they burn... Yeah, sure they did some tutorial, but... Yeah, they, they don't actually explain what they are. In the previous game, we were fully explained that uh, yeah, the red lumps are full of vitality. So... Mm. Yeah, yeah I, I guess there is... Like this... yeah. Go ahead. Uh, I would say... They actually, actually just skipped away half the uh, tutorial. But I expect you to actually read the manual. Good chance for that. But I guess in one way you could say it is that it the game feels less consistent without uh, the the details. Yeah. Yeah, I think I agree with you there. 
Shield. Okay, what is, is over here? Oh. It's another shield one. This is probably why more people will probably like the Rayman 2 for the explain well. But they um, were humor, they were really trying to overdo it. Yeah. It, it feels more lived in. Yeah. Here it's... There's a mix of morning cartoons and something like Family Guy and Simpsons in some human uh, department. <laughs> I wouldn't sink that low specifically, but okay, <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, okay, maybe say it. See, so they try to struggle between kid humor and adult humor. Uh, yeah, oh, come on, grab it. There we go. Okay. Uh, I might need to take a quick break in a bit. Oh dear. Come on, that was Do just... we always to soon in the stream anyway, aren't we? Uh, yeah, time, yeah, extended time. Oh yeah. More of these things. I'm going to have to look up what exact track that is for these things, because it, it is a pretty bopping uh, bit. Oh yeah. They did, not, they did not fail on the music at least. Yeah. Okay, now before we actually continue, I'm going to stop the timer where here it is. And uh, <clears throat> yeah, just BRB for a bit. So uh, <laughs> I'll be back in about five minutes, hopefully. Uh, yeah.
Okay, I'm back. Uh, Drakir is not back yet. Okay. Um, I'll take this bit of time to just look up some uh, trivia on the game, perhaps. Uh, let's see. Da -da -da. TV Tropes Rayman 3. There we go. Woodlands, yes. Da -da -da -da. Trivia page. Those are always pretty fun when you know, they have one on TV Tropes. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, that explains something. Rayman's creator, Michael Ansel, or Michelle Ansel, wasn't involved in the development of this game. That doesn't... That does explain a few things as well. And... Uh, da -da -da. owned adaptation. Downplayed. Uh, Michelle Ansel... Yep. I really have no idea. I really should look up how to freaking pronounce this game. It, na na name. Name. Uh, says that the game was a bit too concrete for his taste. And he would have done the game a bit differently if he wasn't in, in an adversary advisory role. Though he praised the development team and said he was still proud of them. This hasn't prevented the game's events from being mentioned in Rayman Origins, however. Okay, I... I didn't actually know that Origins or Legends actually runs back to the other games. Hmm. I thought they mostly were standalone-ish. Let's see. The game did not get a Japanese release, making it the only mainline Rayman game to have never seen the light of day over there. Okay, odd. I can see your icon flashing or your avatar flashing up like your mi microphone is recording something. or capturing... But could might as well just be the uh, the fan or so. Michel Unsel. Okay. Huh? What? Uh, what? What did I just walk into? Uh, I was just checking out some of the. Uh, yeah, I was back first, so I decided to look up the TV tropes page for a bit, and apparently, uh, Unsel, no, the creator of Rayman. I'll just leave it at that. Uh, he was not directly re uh, involved in the development of this game, only in an advisory role, apparently. That may explain a lot of things. Yeah. Okay. Especially in the human department, being so either shy level or, le or try or to be a dot level and failing. Yeah. Or and... hit and miss. Yeah. <laughs> Let's move on from the swamp to uh, this place. This swamp manor. Now most of these places, yeah. uh, I, most, all of these do have a name that comes up. And unwise is he who risks entering my domain. Let's and warm there's this guy. What? In what? What by? Yggdrasil's roots is that? Yeah, this is the hunter. Though, Those looking at the trophies, he isn't much of a hunter. And yeah, the whole thing of this level, or this bit, is that we're going to have to chase his ass around. Yeah, hunter became the hunted? <laughs> yeah. It... Okay, w whenever we do land a hit on him, he goes berserk for a bit. And yes, you did say that correctly, this <laughs> the decorations that he destroys get automatically replaced. And there's these little guys that we can free. They will just give up some health in return. If Come on. rats into servitude... Yeah, they're not rats. They're some sort of bath thing. Bath things. Okay, there you are. Come on, stay here. 
I've got a fist to shove up your ass. Making. Yeah, he's like I said, he's not much of a hunter, and he's in not much of a condition to run around. Well, I've oh. than you. And every now and then we get this where he just uses some sort of installed turrets to pester us. And wait, that's Sam. <laughs> okay, or at least Sam's species. It better not be making them extinct. For some, it's nice. Yeah, he's a he's a good uh, nope rope. He's a <laughs> he's a yes rope. I really want to say, kind of noodle. <laughs> For what you say, it can be translated to something else. Yeah, uh, he's a. Uh... Koodle noodle. <laughs> Care to say that again? Koodle noodle. Or a goodle noodle, if you want to <laughs> move it the other way. Uh, yeah, we can land him as he runs, but he'll just zip off. Oh, hello. Where did I hear that? I cannot repeat what you said because it somehow breaks my brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's going to be a thing, a koodle noodle. <laughs> Noodle noodle. Yep. <laughs> oh, now I get it. <laughs> yeah, I cuddle noodle. Here we go again. Here we go. He has three shots every time. It's oh, wrong way. Is this way? And yeah, he's a bit full of himself, isn't he? Or a yep. prophetic <laughs> hunter. Hello. Even the music tells us how prophetic he is. Still, that dart gun of his does sting. And uh, he's at least are... brave enough to at least attempt to take us on every now and then. Even if he does, he has a fit after. Those are dark guns? Yeah, is it more like a spear gun, I guess, but oh well. Go, get some more health. And... Oh, we have only one more hit on him. Hmm? Did they do things you're freeing? Yeah, I, I have no idea what those are. And uh, here we go again. Be perfect in my living room, stuffed and mounted on my wall. Again, the, where is the cage around here? Just up there. His bullets move very slowly. That might be his issue as a hunter. He should get that rifle checked out. Yeah. Okay, missed you too last time. I agree with your Atreus. I agree. <laughs> oh, this is back here. Where is that? Hmm. Oh, hello. I think I remember now. Yep, there it is. Okay. Sneaky. I need to go make some waffles. I eat them waffles in years. You little. Come back here. Yeah, he's off to do his taxes or whatever. Yep. He said he was off to, to make waffles. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> no one can stop me. Yeah! Yay me! Except for narrow passageways.
Okay. Now we just have to find a way back to the foyer, or the foyer, or however you're supposed to, the front room. <laughs> and oh, after come we go. on! He nearly think we get shot. If the Uruk-hai used that rifle, Boromir would still be alive. <laughs> He's not lying. <laughs> yeah, it's true. And, well, boss fight again. Help. And... And he's coming in like <laughs> like a wrecking ball. Yep. Ow. Uh, luckily, we don't die if we get well dropped in because the monster of Loch Ness is apparently in that uh, in this. Okay. Wait, wasn't that Sam? Nope. It's actually that thing at the top here. I thought it was Sam. Nope. Okay, we just have to hit him again, and just dodge the, uh, to, uh, dodge the wrecking ball, which was somehow Glowbox got stuck inside of. I actually want to think about it. Ain't this before the wrecking ball meme? Yep. <laughs> See, he can't, he can't change direction after he starts. So we just have to move aside whenever he's incoming. Though with all of the pits, is a bit annoying. He will change up his strategy eventually, though. Yeah, I was wondering that as well, Atreus. <laughs> Maybe this is where my desires got her inspiration. Quote from uh, yep. Atreus. Yeah. Uh, luckily, we don't take any damage for falling down, but it's still annoying. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, Nessie. <laughs> Wait, uh, we, we were hanging on the ledge there. I thought we fell down. Like, that time. Okay, this should speed things up a bit. Come on. And I mean, to lose it before I can get a hit in. Uh, and we're down again. Yeah, I, I'm not good at uh, trying to keep track of two targets at once. Having, having to keep Rayman from falling into the pit <laughs> and keep track of where he's going. No, oh. <laughs> okay, whatever's down there is not too happy with him. <laughs> now it's more annoying than tough, and oh, yeah, now he's changing things up a bit there. But Nessie is helping us again. There we go. And back down again. <laughs> back up again. Okay. How did we... Okay. At least he becomes predictable as to where he goes once uh, there's a can for him to destroy. Though he seems to only go after it after we've landed a good hit on him with that. Still, he is... He is lowering where we can... He is boxing us in slowly. Ready for this? <laughs> oh, 
What the heck? I didn't say we saw the last of her. Uh, you said it was the last of her. Yeah, I said we won't be seeing too much more of her. Oh, right. Uh, that, that was just... Yeah. <laughs> Uncomfortable. Like, yeah, that... Yeah. I'll drop the kids off at the pool. What? But yeah, now don't ask me why the hunter would have a port would have a magic mirror to the land of the dead. But uh, here we are. Uh, yeah, this is the this is the land of the livid dead, not the living dead. <laughs> I'm rest of the elderly. Uh, I think it's. <laughs> I think when your age range can be in the centuries, I think elderly can be exchanged for ancient. <laughs> uh, the primordial. Okay, Primordial is a bit harsh. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think we have about 10 minutes still. Uh, we started 35 minutes uh, late. Uh, 5 minutes break, 30 extra. So yeah, we, sh we have about 10 to go. Yeah, and I'm no. starting to be sleepy. Okay, I do gotta say I like Rayman's. Those look a bit like the. <laughs> Those look like the birds from the Pixar uh, Pixar shorts, <laughs> with the ones on the uh, electric uh, on the uh, the yeah electric cable. I'm sure if I've seen that one or not. I know I've seen sketches like that, just I'm sure I've seen the, the pixel specific one. Uh, rocket? The, yep, to get this one, because here we ha will have to free a certain amount of uh, the, the teensies, or the, the teensy ghost, because they can actually... Ha they actually open up stuff. Okay, I did actually notice. <laughs> <Smooth. What? laughs> did you just? <laughs> I didn't know that you could do that. Was that intentional thing or did you accidentally break the turtle for a moment? I think I broke the turtle. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can hear now. It, it's not that erotic music. Uh, but, yeah. This game's... Uh, catch. 
<laughs> okay, apparently Andre might love the plums, but his minions don't. Okay. Moving on. Next to more of the birds. Also, how the hell are the lum how the hell are the hoodlums in the afterlife? Um and then again, we've probably sent them here. So, actually, you notice that after every time we beat one, a, yeah. a black lum goes flying. We are, we are not killing them. We're killing their outfits. So, yeah, we aren't actually killing the black lums. We're only just sending them away for a bit until they can get dressed again. Which is turning into the freaking flash. Oh, I remember this place. This might take more than five minutes. Because there's a mini game that they added in. Yeah, in a few places in this game that, well, is a bit questionable. Yep. Oh, Question and another no. enemy. Questionable. That, that, that's, that makes me worried. There we go. You'll see it a bit once we've dealt with this one. Or actually, not yet. Oh. Uh, glow box. I thought we were still in a cutscene there for a moment. <laughs> Apparently not. Okay. I do recall that it is in this area where we first run across it. It doesn't show up too often, but it is still uh, annoying. I'll say that. There we go, another teen scene. Guilt? What? Uh, I think you're... I don't think you nearly need kilts anymore. Uh, uh, yeah. What was he said he was to do with his kilt? He... to iron it. And, uh, okay. yeah. What the... Bit of an odd, uh, power-up, you'd say? That's because it's not really a power-up. For some stupid reason, we have to go chase after our own shoe. And, well, bumper cars it. Yeah. And the turning on this isn't actually that great. Now, where the hell is the ferret is? Yeah, I... They really just could have us to give uh, given us the damn upgrade instead, or the power up. There it is. I, there's supposed to be some way to. Okay, we can break somewhat, but it does it steers us to the side as well. And yeah, we have to just hit this stupid thing a good amount of times. The problem is getting to hit the freaking thing in the first place. And when we miss it, we have to find it again. Because I think it's pretty much going around randomly. Come on. Yeah, it has a much sharper turning rate than us. Do it get behind us. Uh, yeah, making contact alone is... Hard enough. So, I, I really do not get why the hell they thought putting this in was a good idea. Come on. It could just be that the controls are off. But I'm, I'm not too sure if it, yeah. originally it was yep, always going forwards.
Just see. <laughs> oh, come on. How is that not a hit? And with every miss, we lose a point as well. See how freaking fast that thing turns? Wait. Oh, come on. Even when we press any button, it... Uh, yeah, this is just a bad idea. Yep, that, there we go. Yep. Really, it's going to hit us back. Okay, let's just... There you are. We just wait for it to move across our, uh, us. And then we... Uh, I think at least the one good thing that can be said about this is that it only happens like once or twice. Maybe a third time. I could have gotten a hit in there. Yep. That should have hit. <laughs> Uh, okay, where is it? There it is. Yeah. That's what, like the fourth near miss? It fifth. Okay, it's in the corner again. Yeah, the controls for this are just garbage. And even when we turn, we head full, mostly forwards. There's no sharp turns, it seems. And Globox <laughs> must be, like, be getting confused at all, fuck. Like, why is Rayman tiny and why is he chasing after his own shoe? And, yeah, the, I think probably because of this, you know, at least, uh, no cheatless. If, motherfucker. This probably, uh, I'm guessing that you know, there's a good chance this game does not have cheatless. Uh, or exploitless uh, speed runs because of this. Unless there's some way to get it stuck. I, this this could be amusing if it wasn't so stupid uh, with everything, and if it wasn't required. Where is it? That's sort of a, a bit. Features a little bit over how stupid it is. There we go, and still two more freaking hits. Yeah, that's why I've been so quiet for so ever since I saw the cutscene and he's been seeing this. I, I'm being speechless until now over how stupid this is. And I agree with you, just one hit should be enough. Yeah, there it is. Oh, it got stuck. There we go. Or did we? Oh, come on. Uh, that's the timer going off, so we'll have to find a checkpoint. Because I am not redoing this. If we can... Uh, there we go. Like, they could have just given us this stupid thing in the first place. But again, Four luckily, more. once or twice. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> but yeah, probably... That is probably one of the big reasons why people like this game a whole lot less. There. Yeah. Uh, get us to refer oh, that... There we go. I, I can see people not being able to progress through the game just through that. Yeah, or the funky board stage is being iffy. And... Oh, yeah. I am so, so sorry. I hope we reached a checkpoint. That should be a checkpoint at least. Otherwise, uh, we're going to be very annoyed when we start this game up next time. But yeah. for now, uh, let's see. 
Okay. Oh, that's the levels. Okay. I was a bit confused there for a moment why it was not showing it. But here's some of the bonus material that we've unlocked. Uh, we'll, we'll show that off some other time. For now... Uh, yeah, there's no act active save button. So we're going to have to hope that it saves there. Actually, let's... Let's double check. Continue. There. Okay. So it's... Okay. F3. Quit Raymond 3. And we're moving to this screen. There we go. Okay. A, a bit of a frustrating stream due to, well, the game not wanting to work along, but... Oh, well, it, it could have gone even worse. We could have had to, yeah, give up on the game. So for now, I might have flashbanged you there for a moment. Uh, actually, no, you should. Uh, flashbanged. Uh, I'm just yeah. tired. Yeah, for some reason, it just goes completely white when something is in full screen mode. And, well, the browser just opened up in full screen mode, so sorry about that. But yeah, let's uh, go look for someone to Okay. I did not get flashed. No way, right. otherwise I would have let you know. <laughs> okay. But, yeah. It, it is still an enjoyable game, even though it has some really, really sour spots. Yeah, and very big hit and miss comedy. Let's see. Have you guys ever played Anodyne 2? Might be something you'd enjoy. It's kind of a throwback adventure game. I have heard of a, I have heard of a Anodyne one, but not an Anodyne two. I'm actually going to look that up right now. Anodyne. Uh, that sounds weirdly familiar, but I don't know why. Let's see. Anodyne two. Return to dust. Let's see. It's a bit. I'm just scrolling through the. I'm pretty sure I've heard. I'm pretty sure I've seen Nitro Rad make a video on this or the previous game. Probably on the first one, since... Uh, actually, could have been this one as well, since this Anodyne 2 was released in 2019. I'll... Yeah, I'll have to look into that a bit. Uh, maybe something for a future stream, but for now, uh, we have things... Well, we have plenty of games to already <laughs> stream over time. But I'll, I'll, yeah. maybe I'll check that out. <laughs> For now, uh, let's see. Uh, Shanker Crab is playing Pokemon Legends Arceus. And that's the only one, uh, only streamer that we know that is online at the moment. There, there are some other streamers, but they are the really freaking big ones. Uh, that I, <laughs> and I'd rather send people to someone smaller. Uh, then we have Ran Rabbit, who is streaming Hardships. I keep missing the freaking name Hard Space Shipbreaker. Uh. There, there. Then we have Peepo Pixie streaming La Pucelle Ragnarok. I have no idea what the hell that is. Uh, Mega G Wolf is streaming Freedom Planet 2. That is a game I've been looking forward to, or I've been keeping an eye on for when it was released because I, I, I really liked the Freedom Planet 1. It's a bit like a Sonic, but a bit more platformy, I believe, and well, a lot more story. And um, let's see. I then we have that the game existed. I've never seen it. I only heard people mention it, but okay. never seen anything of it. Oh, yeah, we can we can easily put it on the two stream list. I I think I actually skipped it over with Showcase Sunday because I was sure to stream it eventually. Okay. Uh, let's see. Moving on further, we have Alkali and Xani who are streaming marbles on stream. Uh, the Digital Hazard streaming digital uh, not Digimon World DS. Uh, we have Yugi and Bushido streaming XCOM UFO Defense, which is the original, I believe. And Real Soviet Bear streaming Resident Evil Two. Any of those sound interesting? Or shall we go uh, uh, visit Shanker? I will, let, I will let you decide for... I don't think I am conditioned to make choices at the moment. Okay. I'm sick. I'm sleepy. My pillows are calling me. 
This is Shanker Crap it is then. Okay, copy the name, head over to our place. Wait, what, you're Sorry. shanking a crab? What, what has the crab done you? Uh, nothing. They they are a crab that shanks. Or at least it reads out like shanker, apparently. Or something like that. Uh, oh, it's a crab with a knife. Anyways, though. Uh, thank For now, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Atreus slash Sir Sam. Uh, for well, sticking around and watching a bit. Uh, <laughs> you missed the technical issues we were having at the start. And I really should put in more stuff to uh, yeah, fix that up more. Uh, and, and thank you, Atheus. I will get better soon. It's rather mild. Like, uh, not, yeah. otherwise I'll not be here. And uh, yeah, thank you as always as well, Drakir. Oh, you're welcome as always, my friend. And next time we'll be continuing with this game. I think we've gotten in far enough to not have to switch over to the HD version. I will still take a look at that, may have mostly for my own, uh, yeah, mostly to play for myself. Um, but yeah. Um, until next time, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, everyone, and watch out for gremlins.